All right, folks, heading out. We've, uh, we're gonna get on the road. We've got to find um, a uh, location. I'm gonna scout a few out for doing our art of photography meetup, our big Dallas meetup coming up. So it should be kind of cool. Um, God, it's hot. Need a little air conditioning. And uh, we're off. There you have it. So uh, anyway, we're gonna go take a look and see if we can uh, figure out some locations. Okay, so one of our possible locations here as we get, get scrambling here. The San Steely Plaza. Deep Elm is okay. Actually, Deep Elm might be cool. If we did it at night, we could do it down here because uh, uh, the lights and the bars and all that's pretty cool. The problem is, is it's like it's just going to depend on how much it cools down at night. And if people want to walk up to a meetup at night, it's harder to find each other. So we'll see. I mean, one thing we could do is it is summer and the sun doesn't really set until 9.15, 9.20, somewhere in there. 9.30 sometimes. So theoretically we could meet up while it's still light, maybe eat food or something. And, and, uh, take it from there. But what I'm going to do here is we're going to drive down here just in case Dealey Plaza does sound interesting. just want to make sure there's places to park and that I'm not sure about. So we're going to have to wait and see. This is Dealey Plaza. This is some idiot cutting in front of me. Thank you very much. And uh, this is Houston Street where uh, Kennedy Motorcade actually turned on the street we're on now. Made a left. Going where now. And all these people down here, this is the, uh, in case you're wondering if that's the grassy knoll, and that is. And uh, anyway, Kennedy was shot coming down here and uh, they zoomed off to the hospital underneath this very bridge. And uh, hopefully we're not going to get jammed up on the highway here looking at that location. But, uh, Anyway, that's Dealey Plaza. This is a lot of traffic. All right, we're actually taking, uh, we're gonna get off an oak lawn here. Um, scouting locations, I also have to go pick up my dry cleaning. So I'll have uh, something nice to wear to work on Monday. But since it's a vlog, I can say that, right? This is kind of sad here, right here on the right, this odd shaded blue triangle building. It used to be Tower Records back in the day. And uh, I tell you, I miss the days where we had such thing as a record store. It's sad. But anyway, down here you can kind of see we're near the parks and uh, there's a creek down here, Turtle Creek. It's very pretty and if this were the spring, we could do another meetup then and save this location because this really would be a beautiful place to go. Uh, the creek has uh, got parks around it. It's extremely well maintained. It really is one of the most beautiful parts of Dallas, I think. You should kind of get near the interior of the city. The street, uh, I don't have the camera position, but the creek's following us on the right. And uh, the street actually is called Turtle Creek. Here's a little fun trivia. First house my parents ever lived in, where I was born, is basically right out here. Here's our fire truck again. So yeah, another thing I was talking about a couple uh, episodes ago on this vlog here. I know the, the vlog isn't really our normal podcast series. It's, it's the vlog. But, uh, you know, one of the things I was, uh, was mentioning is that there's a series of prints that I want to do. And I'll kind of give some of that away and talk about what it is. And I haven't, I'm pretty excited because I haven't done a lot of personal work in a while. And uh, I'm overdue. But I've got an idea for a project. I was talking about keeping, you guys keeping sketchbooks and keeping ideas. And a lot of this has evolved from keeping my sketchbook and some ideas that I have. But, you know, a couple weeks ago I was in, I was in New York and I went to uh, several galleries in uh, Midtown Manhattan that... Uh, it had some great stuff, and one of the pieces that I was looking at was a Heinrich Kuhn 
He was a, a contemporary of. He was a contemporary of uh, Alfred Stieglitz, Steich, and those guys. I think they were all friends. Uh, not as well known, but he had some beautiful prints. And some of these were with these gum bichromate prints that were that were done basically on on Japanese tissue paper. You know, these these things are over 100 years old and they're just beautiful. And printing on alternative surfaces like that. What was weird too is, is you know you do gum bichromate, it becomes if you've never done it, it's a historical process. And it's quite interesting because it's really high contrast. It's kind of hard to print with actually because it's not it's it's very crude by modern standards. So anyway, so I want to I want to get into gum bichromate and do some stuff like that. Um, and I actually have some images and I want to do big square photos. The problem is, is doing big stuff with a process like the gum bichromate is you don't use an enlarger, so I've got to have a camera with a negative big enough to handle what it is I'm trying to do. So I might not end up as big as I want, but I've also talked uh, you know, on the show recently and with people about going smaller and doing you know, smaller contact prints that may be even as small as like 6x6, six six, something you'd shoot out of a Holga or even a Hasselblad or, or something to be for my camera of some kind. So anyway, so I want to do some still life stuff with that kind of a feel to it. Uh, kind of high contrast, interesting compositionally. I don't know, I haven't worked all that out yet. I'm, I'm still kind of sketching and working on some ideas, but I, ha I, I think they're strong ideas and I think that uh, you know, the project's certainly worth doing. I've, I've got a lot of research to do on it though because I have never done gum by chromate. And uh, I know only know some very basic things about it, so I will, of course, report all this in the podcast as well, which, uh, which will be kind of fun. So I actually got an email um, since going out earlier today, and I think I do know the location. And I'm not going to drive by there right now, but uh, I might take you by there tomorrow, the next day, so we can see it. But uh, the farmers market downtown. I think uh, this is actually a suggestion from a guy who watches the show. Um, well, I'm blanking on his username right now. I think it's Photo Studios, Photo Studios, something like that. I'll put it on the YouTube video since I can do that. Uh, anyway, this dude uh, suggested Farmer's Market, which uh, is an excellent choice. What are we doing here? Uh, Farmer's Market is shaded, and uh, for one, and it has an indoor area where you can grab some food and eat, which is nice. And uh, so I think that's probably going to be where we go. Okay, you know the weird thing about vlogging, when I do the regular podcast, plan those out pretty extensively. I know I'm low on gas. Plan those out pretty extensively and they're researched and generally I have a flow that includes some kind of introduction for the show. I get into some stuff that I'm trying to explain then I conclude it in the vlog. I've noticed it's really hard to conclude these. They just kind of end when the day's over. So you can see that it's getting dark right now. I know this camera does whoa pretty well in low light. Um, so anyway, so that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Day three is up.